Falta Stuck, you're very welcome to my home as we gather for Suntri Issa, where we look at the readings for tomorrow, Thursday the 18th of April, Thursday of the third week of Easter, but also the feast of St. Malisha or St. Lassen, who was a saint. Irishman goes out to Rome, ordained by St. Gregory the Great, returns home and becomes uh, an abbot and a bishop in a monastery in Ireland. And he's one of the first people in Ireland to be in favour of calculating Easter, the way it's calculated now. Um, the Irish church had a different way that was more in touch with the Jewish Passover. The first reading tomorrow is the story of St. Philip and how Philip is used by the Holy Spirit to convert the official of the court in Ethiopia. He's reading the scriptures and Philip is brought by the Holy Spirit there. And he asks, do you understand what you're reading? How can I, he replied, unless I have someone to guide me. So he invites Philip to get in and sit by his side and explain the scriptures to him. And that's the role of the church. Philip, anointed by the Holy Spirit, deacon in the early church, is there to help this man understand the scriptures. And he's reading from the prophet Isaiah about the suffering servant. And Philip tells him the good news about Jesus. And he is chooses to be baptized when they come across water. He becomes the first Christian convert in Ethiopia. And the first, he will go down there and the church will flourish in Ethiopia. Philip, at the end of the passage, is that he arrives in Caesarea. So the gospel, the gospel is again taken from John chapter 6. And looking at what happened with Philip and looking at what happens in the gospel with the proclamation of the Eucharist, cry out with joy to God all the earth is a very suitable psalm, Psalm 66. The gospel, Jesus says, your fathers ate the manna in the desert, but they are dead. But this is the bread that comes down from heaven so that a man may eat it and not die. We begin even now to share in eternal life, the life of God. And Jesus specifically says then, I am the living bread which has come down from heaven. Anyone who eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I shall give is my flesh for the life of the world. And of course, he gave that flesh for us on Calvary. And every time we celebrate the Eucharist in memorial of Christ, we're brought to that moment in which Jesus Christ lay down his life for us and now risen dwells in the community, in the heart of the Eucharist, in world and sacrament, and in the actions of the believers in the world. With thoughts such as these, let us to our beds and please God in the morning when we wake up, our hearts will be filled with the wonder and the praise of God. Agus Gamana the Elakok the Shiv, Ahur Maka the Spirit Neighbor Man. Slongful. Bye for now.